It's a good thing that's what I do, the impossible. <laughs> by using a jack, your delta jack and an ace, okay? A jack and an ace equals 21. Okay, now, this is why I'm not allowed in casinos, all right? Because the worst possible hand you could get would be a six, say, and that, because then you'd have to hit. Right. By blackjack rules, you'd have to hit. So the worst possible hand you could get would be a, like a jack and a six, and the best would be a jack and an ace. So say I'm dealt a jack and a six, right? Blackjack. Being a magician, <clears throat> good with cards, what I would have to do is I'd have to sneak an ace into play, switch it for the six, get the six out. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I would have yeah. to switch it out. Mm -hmm. Now, in casinos, they have the cameras all over the place. So it's very difficult. And the best way to do it would be to palm it. And that just simply means hiding it in your palm, but you know, it doesn't really always, they make cards big for a reason. Can we, let me, I want you to try and palm this card. And just so you see how absolutely, it's like very difficult, isn't it? Right, it's, it's, it's hard, right? See? So there, for me to get this ace switched in for the six would be uh, practically impossible, okay? Now, <clears throat> excuse me. So we have the ace, we have the jack and the six. Now what would ha I would have to do, like I said, is I'd have to get the ace out without palming it, or maybe I could make it a little bit easier for me to palm it, all right? Let's try and make it easier, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ace, all right? I really hate this lip, and I'm gonna fold it in half. So it would, it would fit in my hand a little bit better, see? A, li a little bit better. All right, not exactly the best, but we're getting there. You know, maybe I should fold it in half again, because then if I'm going to switch oh, it in. Then, exactly. Right, I'm going to switch it. When you fold a card a few times, it gets really tough, okay? Now, that's a little bit easier. I might be able to switch, see, like, hide that in my hand and switch it in. But, you know, i got to be careful, because, like I said, the casino guys are watching. I'll go Oh, grab them, thanks. Now, here's the thing, though. Like we said, can, can you come up here so I can use your hand again? I'm going to show you. Oh, thank you. Now, here's the thing. Like, the, what I want to do is I want to get the six out and I want to get the ace in. Okay. So I'm going to put them in your hand. Put your other hand on top. Okay. Now, my my goal is to get the ace back in to her hand into play and switch out the six without anybody knowing. Now again, I can I can actually palm this in my hand, but we're gonna make it a little bit easier. We're gonna put what's called a gambler's crimp in it, okay? And all it is is just, look, see I have the, it's bent, so it sticks in my hand, okay? Now I'm gonna try and get this ace, switch it for the six in your hand, and that way I'd win the game. But we have a problem, right? I got a bunch of folds in this. Right, so what I'd have to do to make it even tougher is I'd have to, Unfold the ace, iron out all the creases, switch it into your hand, take the six out, crease that up, and it would be, that is talk about impossible, right? Yeah. It's a good thing that's what I do, the impossible. <laughs> Watch, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna touch you. Just by going like this, over the dealer's hand, and under. Just like that, and under. Okay, did you feel anything? Did I touch you at all? No. Okay, open your hand up. Let's see what your hand is now. Turn over one card. And there we have the ace. Turn over the other. And there we have the jack. And over here is the six. <laughs> and that's why I'm not allowed at casinos. <laughs> <laughs>